Hi YouTube, in this video I'm gonna be uh, fixing this A1990 2018-2019 15-inch motherboard. Uh, I received it in this condition, so it looks like uh, it went through the data destroy facility, probably, I don't know, but definitely someone was concerned about the data and they removed two out of four NANDs, which is enough because they're in a RAID array, so you remove two, that's it, your data is gone. So uh, a little rough, but not as rough as it could have been. I've seen these boards been drilled through the NAND chips, and in that case, that's it, game over. But this one is pretty good. A couple pins, and actually the ground pins are a little bit damaged, but everything else seems to be good. And uh, I checked the board, it does seem to be iCloud free, so it's worth saving. Especially that I have this 2020 MacBook Air board here, which is uh, not good. CPU is gone on it, so uh, I'm not exactly sure if the iCloud on it is, is clean. So, but anyway, this is going to be my donor board in this case, and uh, I'm going to be moving these two NAND chips into this board. So this board, instead of four NAND chips, is gonna have two NAND chips. And this configuration on this board is 512 gigabyte. So this is, so this A1990 board uh, will become four NAND chip, I mean, instead of four NAND chip board, is gonna be two NAND chips and 512. I believe this originally was 256. So I'm gonna upgrade the NAND from 256 to 512. And instead of four chips, I'm gonna be using two chips. And I'm not gonna be using JC Programmer on this one. I'm just gonna do a straight swap. And that should do it, because this NAND's already configured for this board, but it should work on this board without any uh, additional configuration. And uh, the way it's supposed to be done, let me switch to the screen. So this is our board 1990 in question. Okay, so this is a U87 chip, one nine chip U86. So we're gonna start from this one. As you can see, U8600. If you if we check on some pins here or in schematics, as you can see, this shows up. Let me move it higher. As you can see, this is SSD 0, S4E 0. So this is channel number 0, U8600. And if we go to U8700, same pin here. As you can see, this shows S4E1. So this is channel 1. Okay, so that's that. So we're gonna, let me see if we're gonna mark it or remember that. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna go back and forth on this so this is u86 on the side of the other side from the cpu okay and if we're gonna choose our other board the donor board we're going to be using okay so we have here our mm, our a 2179. So these chips are exactly basically the same. U8600, as you can see. Oh, let me see pin number one. So this is channel S4E0, channel zero. And this would be 87 channel, would be channel one, S4E1. So this is gonna be like basically straight swap U8600 from the donor board to U8600 on the on the on the board we're working on 15 inch and u8700 is going to go in place u8700 and obviously i'm going to be removing two remaining nand chips from this board so they all have to be gone because we're going to be putting this is u8600 it's going to be from that board and here's going to be u8700 i'm going to clean this up a little bit remove these two chips get those out and that will do we'll see how it goes
Okay, so I got two nads ready and prepared. So I did not reboil this, just run a blob of solder. The space in between the pads are pretty big, so this should be perfectly fine even if they're not exact same size they should do just fine so let's go ahead and install this see how it goes Clean up time at tenth and testing time. So this is our end result. All cleaned up and ready to be tested. Okay, so we have the MacBook in the recovery now. Let's go ahead and restore it. I don't even know if this screen is working, but we'll be able to see in a second. Need to get the fan spin, and yep, the fan is spinning now. We should see the image on the screen if the screen is good. Yep, so it's going full. Okay, so MacBook restored, and uh, Apple controller here, so it's good to go. And just to show you this is the mac the motherboard in question all right so this actually works perfectly fine you don't need the jc programmer just to move the chips from macbook airboard this worked out pretty good no problem just need to install a brain system and we should be good to go thank you very much for watching if you like my videos please subscribe and hit that thumbs up button to help me grow my channel and as always, have a lovely day, guys. Bye, 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 bye.